can always email me at melissathestockswish.com or you can ask me questions as we're going along here and feel free to reach out again some of you are recognized some of you are new okay good day to be talking good time to be trading really been a good uh trading week here considering it's the holiday week we have um hit home runs every day so looking forward to the rest of may and to have a few days off around the memorial day holiday and uh, to have a great week. So welcome everyone. My name is Melissa Armo and I trade gaps. And today we're going to talk about specifically trading gaps. If you have questions, you can watch me on TV. I'm actually on Fox News on Monday, Memorial Day. If you are around and you want to watch me, I will be on Neil Cavuto's show at four o'clock talking about the stock market. If you have questions, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So it's the American dream to be successful and make a lot of money in the stock market. Everyone wants to do it. Why can't everyone do it? First of all, not enough people, I think, have the motivation. People say they want to be wealthy, they want to be rich. When I decided that I wanted to do this, I was extremely motivated, not only to be wealthy, uh, or to become wealthy, but I also wanted a new career because I was doing mortgages and that industry was changing and changing rapidly. This is back 2007, 2008. And so I really knew that I wanted to find something different to do. And I also wanted something that had an un unlimited income. I didn't want something where I was going to make, you know, 100 grand a year or 200 grand a year. I wanted to be able to make more, you know. And then I found it in trading the stock market. But it took me a number of years to develop my system, and now here I am today. So if you're really, really motivated, okay, you can do it. You can do it. I put the totals in here as far as where we are. I don't have yesterday and today uh, in here. Yesterday we did AMD. Today we did Target. And so far, so far, so good. We're having a good start to 2024. And I also put the stats in here for the options newsletter. Again, very good start to 2024. There's been a lot of volatility in, in stocks, specifically just because of the fact that we've had earnings. We've had earnings recently. And also there's been a lot of volatility because the market has been speculative about interest rates. So the market actually fell today, later in the day, because someone from the Fed came out, I didn't read the whole statement yet, that they might raise rates. Raising rates may not be off the table. So that's kind of crazy considering everyone thinks they're gonna drop them. So there's a lot of opportunity to trade and you just have to get yourself motivated to do it. And as I've been doing this, like I said, for a long, long time, not only trading for a long time, I've also been motivating people, encouraging people to trade and teaching them my method for a long time. And I find people get in these traps in their mindset where they just won't let go of trading systems that they're using, like buying a moving averages or, or buying gap fills or whatever. People get in these traps and they keep doing it, doing it, doing it, even though they know it's not gonna work, even though they know it's, it loses more than it wins. Stop doing things that don't work. And the best thing you could do for yourself is just let it go, you know, move forward at all costs, switch it up big. You know, change whichever, change whatever you're doing. Do something crazy and say, I'm not doing this anymore. Even if you've been doing it every day for the last 10 years. Because if you're not making money doing it, it doesn't make any sense to continue. And all you're doing is wasting time. And, you know, the thing is that I've talked to so many people, like I said, from every different walk of life. People that have never traded before. People that have been trading older than I'm alive. And people get in these ruts get out of the rut. Again, it's a holiday weekend, good time to take a couple days off, regroup. The summer is a great time to trade gaps and get into that positive, uplifting, lighter feeling mindset where you believe that you can make it happen. Because in fact, as you are stronger than you think. You know, lots of times people think that they can't do things, but the fact is you can, you know. I've seen people turn their trading around in one week and one, weekend with me in their class and the next day they go out and they move forward again everyone has different backgrounds where they come from so people may have a different learning curve with me that's really up to you how you're doing it what you're doing it but i'm here to answer questions for you and again the idea of staying in this positive mindset i think is so 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 important so what i do is i specifically trade in the morning between 9 30 and 10 a.m eastern time that's when i have the live trading room okay 
then I'm looking to get in and out of my trades very, very quickly, okay? Now for the options, I'm doing options, I'm doing the weekly options, I'll do puts and calls. And again, those trades come in newsletter format. But if you wanna work from home, if you wanna do this in the side, if you have a passion for the market, if you like fast, quick trains, again, that's what I focus on in the morning in the trading room, then trading gaps may be something that you want to do. So like I was saying, summer is a great time to trade gaps because we're in and out of trade sometimes in five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, 15 minutes. So we were in and out of trade, this, the trade this morning really quick. We were done way before 10 a.m. Monday, we were in and out in less than two minutes, less than two minutes. So again, no one wants to sit when the weather's beautiful and you could be out in the pool or go golfing and sit at a desk for six and a half hours a day. It's better to trade in the morning quick and be done. It's a lot more profitable. Also, you don't have to worry about the moves and the wiggles and jiggles in the market. You know, again, if someone talking from the Fed or saying this or saying that, when you're in and out quick and fast and you're done, you can just move forward and enjoy the rest of your day. And again, if you have kids or, you know, you have to pick them up for school activities, this is a great career because you can have the afternoons free. And I'm seeing some people come in here late. If you have any questions, you can plop it in the room down where it says to individual user. And that's where you would ask me questions today. Anyways, you can make money in the market. People do it all the time. But like I said, not everybody does because they lack a consistent strategy. They lack a consistent winning system. And it is all about the system. Sometimes anything works. Again, you saw the Reddit stock. Sometimes you could buy something because you heard something from something on TV or something online, and as a crapshoot, it could work. Just like sometimes you can go to Atlantic City and you can make money playing on red, and sometimes you make money playing on black. It doesn't, it's not something consistent, okay? The idea of training is a consistency. So every single day I get up in the morning and I use my system, I apply it, I get up early, I rate my gaps, I know what I like, I know what I don't like, okay? And what I like, I trade, and that's it. And again, you set your risk and you do it. But having a system and a structure to follow will keep you on track so you're not all over the place trying to figure out what to do again. Are the earnings good? Are the earnings bad? You've seen the market react, not always what you think either. You've seen the market react positive to negative news and vice versa. So you can't even, you can't even um, look at the fundamentals and do that and say, you know, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So again, long story short, you have to be very, very focused on whatever you're doing and then you just apply it with the risk, okay? So in order to become successful, you have to be serious and that means learning from someone and taking direction. You know, when people come for me, they just don't realize how easy they had it because when I started trading, I didn't have any direction. I was trying to figure it all out myself at least you can come to me, take my class, and ask me questions. You can ask me questions after the class. I didn't have that support system when I started trading. I developed my own system myself. You know, it was more of a, of a, of a process for me and a methodology. I'm very introspective as a person. I'm very analytical. I like to think about things and analyze things. I would go back. I would trade. I would lose. I would go back and figure out why I lost, and then I would win, and then I would figure out why I won in the trade. And that is how I went through the process allowing the market to help me answer all my own questions. But the process would have been so much easier for me had I actually been able to go to somebody, say, why is this going to the piggy target? Why did this reverse? Why did this stop? Why are you in love with this one, Melissa? Or something like that. I didn't have that support system. So it's, it's very, very helpful to have that, especially a go-to or someone you can follow the trades every single day in the room. And again, it's, it costs you money to do my class. Obviously, you're getting the information. You're, you're taking my time to teach you and learn. And you're learning all of the system. But it really saves you money up front because of the fact that you don't have to go through the process yourself, figure out your own strategy to market, and continue losing money trading. I think once people have decided that they want to train, it's only the level of commitment that people lack is the difference between people that are successful and the people that are unsuccessful. When I started trading, I obviously didn't know what I was doing at first, and I was losing, and then it was going on for a number of months, and then it turned into years, and then people kept saying, well, when are you going to quit, Melissa? At that point, when I realized that I was never going to quit until I actually got it and figured it out, then I knew I would get it, 
again, I didn't know when that would be, but I knew then that, un uh, you know, nothing else mattered to me except for figuring this out. And that is literally how I threw myself into it. And that's kind of what I do whenever I have a big project or something. But that's almost the way that you have to look at it. Because again, there's so many people that want to make money in the market. There's so many people that want to be successful. There's so many people that want to do this. The competition is fierce. It's like, it's like I live in New York City and, and uh, people, they have open auditions usually every year in April for the Rockettes if you want to be a dancer. Like people love to go audition. They want to be a Rockette. They want to be a Rockette. They only pick a certain number of people. It's fierce competition. The best dancers all around. You have to be a certain height. You have to do this. You have to do that. And again, it's tough. It's competition. It's the same thing with trading. You may not realize it because you don't see all the millions and hundreds of thousands of people that are trading every day alongside you, but they're there. They're in the market. It's fierce competition to get the money that's out there. And again, every time you make money in a trade, you're taking money away from someone else. Okay. It's not like you're creating something. You're not, you know, knitting a sweater and saying here, here's a brand new sweater. No, it's not like that. You're just grabbing the money from someone else. When I'm shorting, I'm taking the money from someone else that's long, okay? Somebody's buying the gap fill and I'm shorting it. And again, if I win, I'm taking their profits. So this was, this was a really nice gap that we did. Again, this was earnings. We're at the tail end of earnings season right now. This was Disney. Stock closed here, gap down, open dropped. Like I said, I like to do day trades and I like to do puts. We did a put in Disney and we also did a day trade in Disney. Let's go over it. So the entry here was 106.60. We added at 106. Average price was 106.30. Exit was 104.60. I was trying to get $2 out of this. So I think it was a good exit. Profit was $10,200. So this is a day trade. I actually made this money in a day trade. Again, this is a trade on margin. So what if you didn't have a margin account? You could have bought the put. I did call puts anyways in this. But either way, if I'm in the room, I'm calling. I'm saying 60, and you're doing it. You're doing it at 106.60. You're shorting it. Again, if you have the ability to day trade on margin, you can do it with me. One of the reasons I like to do the day trades on margin is because you can get the quick, quick moves. Again, a put, when you buy a put, which we buy puts and then we sell them to exit them, you have to have an account set up to do margins, which you can have set up as a cash account. And again, any questions about that, you can let me know. Now, we also did shop. This was on May 8th. This was the following day. This was another, again, bearish gap. So what do I like to do? Not only do I like to do gaps and fast trades, I also like to short. So shop closed here, gap down, open, dropped. Shop was a short. You could have shorted this here. You could have shorted it all the way down. We entered at 63.15. I did two ads in this, okay, because I really like this. Loaded up on it. Again, this is a midway price point for me for the price of the stock at, at 60 some dollars. And the profit here was $7,100. So again, what happened here? Shop fell. How are you gonna make money in anything if you're shorting it? It's gotta drop. Same thing if you're gonna go long. It has to go up, okay? So again, one of the most important things about my system is to help you determine not only the stock pick that's gonna have a move that you can actually get money out of it, a momentum move, like a big fat bar, a sizable bar, which this was down here before it made the tail, before it bounced, you need to have something that's gonna have volume, move, and also you gotta get the direction right, okay? Because for example, if you would have shorted shop and it would have closed with a big fat massive green bar, you would have lost. Okay, so getting the direction right is key. Getting the big move is key. And again, I'm trying to get in and out of these trades as fast, as fast as I can. Any questions here so far? How are we doing? Good? Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, success or failure is everything to do with the quality of your system. And I think one of the biggest challenges for people is they don't have a system. They may do something, they call it a system, but it really isn't a system. They say, well, I'm buying on this moving average or this indicator. That's not a system. You could say, well, that's an entry if you wanna look at it like that. But you, know, you can't take a set entry in something every single time if the structure isn't there for the strategy. So the strategy has to be there, again, this is not, we're not trend trading here, all right? I'm not swing trading, although you could do swing trades in some of the things we've done. 
This is momentum trading, seeing the gap. I'm not predicting the gap itself. I'm seeing the gap. The gap's already occurred. And then I'm raining it after I see the gap, okay? Any questions? Okay, I'm going to keep going. Anyways, how do you become successful day trading? The number one key ingredient to becoming successful as a trader is having a specific system and strategy that can offer you reliable and consistent profits on a regular basis, okay? So trading success and financial success in the market is by pure design. It's not by accident, you know? And the reality is it would be great to say, well, I just did this like a crapshoot. That's not reality. And even if you got into trading, you all of a sudden made all this money by dumb luck, like a lot of people did with some of the Reddit stocks, which was a couple of years ago. That didn't happen in the last week. This was several years ago where people were able to make money doing that. People got hurt in the last week doing that. It's not going to be something you can replicate over and over and over. You want to be able to replicate what you're doing. Otherwise, what's the point? You may as well just go to Atlantic City and gamble. Have a nice holiday weekend. That's not what you want to do, okay? So what does it take to be successful? A strategy, a system, and also having a niche, okay? Someone saying something, thanks for the participants in Zoom, you're welcome. And again, any questions, you can write it in the room. But, you know, again, as I've been teaching people for as long as I have, it's over 10 years now, I really realized that having a system is critical and people need that structure. You know, like if you've ever started an exercise program, you want to lose weight, or if you're on a diet, you want to lose weight. Having structure is so, so important, all right? The structure for me is the prep period that I do in the pre-market before I even trade, before I even do anything at all, okay? Not trading in the pre-market. So the other thing that I do that has such a focus is I'm looking for institutional money that's how I'm getting in and getting these big moves because the institutions are buying or selling the stocks that I'm trading. Now, how do I figure it out? I figure it out with a 26 point checklist. So the golden gap rating system is what you become and you would learn from me. I go through the gap and I rate it. If it rates 20 points or more, then I'm taking it in the direction of the gap. And again, I focus on shorts. This doesn't mean I don't go long. We have had some longs recently. Um, I did go long this week and last week but I prefer to short. If I go through all the gaps and I can't find any good gaps to short, then I will go long, okay? But I prefer to short because short moves happen quick and fast, and that's one of the reasons that I like to short. Again, I would prefer to make a couple thousand dollars in five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, 10 minutes, rather than have to wait for two hours or three hours for something to go, okay? I mean, I will. I went long on Friday, for example. I was in uh, a trade on Friday and it took about an hour. It was Walmart. It went, but it took forever and ever and ever and ever. Shorts go so quick, okay? Target to do, we did today, fast and quick and boom and done, okay? Anyways, one of my niches is following the institutional money. So gaps are created with large institutional money. That's what makes a gap in the first place. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and confirm that the large money will flow with it. So by having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and that get, that's what gives you the conviction. You say, oh my God, this rate's 23 points. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then you play it. Whether you do it as a day trade or an option, that's up to you. I like to do both. But gaps are an event and they create a sense of urgency. Hurry, you got to take it, take it now. And that's the whole point. That's where the momentum comes in. Again, this could be something that, that you do where you want to get in it fast and you want to get out of it fast. And if you want to get out of half and hold it to a longer target, you can do that too, especially with options. You want to take it to a bigger number, fine. Get out of half of it, hold the rest. Anyways, the sense of urgency is the event itself. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading golden gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power money. One of the reasons why those Reddit stocks didn't move, and I did a webinar last week I, or the other week. I just, yeah, it was the week that it happened. I said, this isn't going to go anywhere. Someone was actually in that room. I don't see that gentleman now. And he was talking about it. He was saying it's up 75%. I said, this is terrible. This is a horrible long. And it was gone and disappeared and was gone like within 24 hours, you know? So 
I don't trade based on percentages. Again, if that's all you had to do, it would be so easy to trade. You say, oh, this is up 75% or this is down 25%, I'll short it. It's not that easy, okay? There's no black and white percentage thing like that that you would do, okay? Anyways, the purpose of this rating system is to help me determine who is in control, okay? Who is in control? If I find that the bears are in control, then I'm going to want to short. If the bulls are in control, then I'm going to want to go long. Okay. You can't fight against what's happening in the momentum of the gap itself. If it rates good and you know that people are going to take it, take it down, for example, this is EXPE, we shorted this, you can't fight against it. And again, this doesn't mean that every gap down you short just like you don't go along every gap up. There's plenty that reverse, but that's what the rating system's all about. That's what the checklist is for. That checklist helps you get organized in the morning and figure everything out. Anyways, this was one we did a couple weeks ago now, but it was a good gap. Stock closed here, gap down. This was EXPE. Closed up here, gap down, open dropped. So I shorted this here, I got in at 120.30. And again, exited at 118.10. So this was a nice sell-off here. I could have held this longer. I often get this question about my exits. I have multiple targets for stocks, but I will tell you that I do not always get out of the short or the low of the day. Uh, I mean, that's difficult to do. I try to get the best exit I can. I try to get out in the morning, but this kept going. I think it's easier if you want to hold a trade to do a put, okay, to do an option if you're shorting. You do a put it's easier and because when you do the day trade then you know you're out you know you're flat by four o'clock you got to be out and then you have more wiggle time for the option doesn't mean you, you, you don't get out because again if you had done a put in here i didn't i didn't even look up what these cost but this is a pretty big move to do in this day if you had gotten in and you would have wanted to get out at the end of the day now here was another one we did we did disney again Stock close here, gap down. So on the 15th, we did Disney. Fell off the wagon here. Again, we entered at 102.60. We added at 102.40. Average price today was 102.50, okay? And we exited at 101.55. Again, this continued lower than where I got out, but I thought I had a pretty good exit. Profit was 6650 so you need a margin account to do the trades I call in the room. Again, a margin account is where you go to a broker and they give you margin. Retail brokers require a set amount of money. Prop brokers require a set amount of money. You have to decide what you want to do with that or you can ask me for a referral. But if you want to do options, you can open up an options account and set it up as a cash account. And again, you could have bought a put in Disney. We did do puts in Disney. But when you're wanting to do something fast, the fastest, fastest trades are the day trades. And, and again, that's what's so advantageous about trading in the summer, trading gaps in the summer. But anyways, this was a great example here of conviction. Oops. Conviction here, the way that this sold off like a banshee. And again, I didn't see where Disney closed today. With the market falling, I'm sure Disney was lower even today. So all you need is one trade. That's it. That's all you need is one trade a day. Any questions here? Any questions? I don't want to feel like I'm talking too fast. We doing good? Hello, is anyone there? Okay. So let's think about the control factor. Think about the power, all right, that institutional money has in the market. When you think about it, it makes perfect sense. The only way a stock or even the market, let's talk about the general market. The only way the general market is going to go up is if institutions, big professional traders, hedge funds, okay, if they're going to go long. So the only way that something's going to lift is what? Buying. What about if something falls? You say, well, how's that going to happen? They can short it. Institutions can short. 
and they also can sell. And again, I'm talking about millions and millions and millions and millions of shares. So really, it's while sometimes you could say, well, retail traders move those Reddit stocks, yeah, temporarily, but they really didn't control what happened there because you saw they wanted to go up and it went down. And that happened even with the move a couple of years ago. So there may be a temporary control sometimes with retail traders, but the real control, if you think about it, it makes perfect sense, is always, even if you think it's not, it's there. It's always on the side of institutional money. And the people get upset and they say, well, they, they rigged it, they did this. No, it was always there to begin with. You just didn't know how to read it. If you took the position in the opposite direction, then that's why you lost. You were against what was happening. I don't know what AH means, but the gap itself is happening in the pre-market, Adrian. Or the post-market. Well, you call it after hours, I call it post-market. It's the same thing. So that's when gaps are recurring. Okay? You don't know until you see it, I usually wait into the morning to do my readings. But you could do them at night if you want. Any other questions? Okay, so there's only one thing and one thing only that can move the direction of a stock and it's money. Not a little bit of money, but a lot of money. Or what I call power money. Power money is in charge. Power money is in charge of the stock's direction Trends are set and moved by the power money people, of which there was a lot of in the market, okay? And that's the thing. So again, that's where you want to be, even as one individual, because it doesn't, it doesn't, there's no effort involved if you're on the right side. You're along the market or, you know, any stock that's moving up, you don't even have to do anything. It's just going to go if it's going to go, if it's going to get bought. You're in there with it already. And that's why we, we're get, we, we are aggressive. And I do trade and get in my trades very early. If I'm in right out of the game, then I'm going to be in when the move happens. Otherwise, I'm chasing it and I'm doing it late. And that's what many traders do. They don't know what to do. They wait for half an hour, an hour to see what's going on. They get a terrible entry in something very late after 80% of the move is open. And then they're scalping things or they're going against what's happening. You see that all the time all the time where people go against what's happening because it really didn't get the good entry in the first place. So how do I know to do it aggressive to get in right out of the gate? Because I did all my homework. I did the rating system. The, 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 the 26 point checklist tells me that's the confirmation, okay, that I can hit it. Again, you still have to have your risk set, whatever risk you're taking, okay? But success requires a plan. And for me, it's a 26 points. I'm going through and I'm rating the gap. And I do all of this again in the pre-market. It's it's really just just picking one thing. I mean, like this week we've had a really good week because I was hyper focused. I think this week because I knew it was a holiday. I knew the holiday was coming up. I knew that there wasn't a lot going on. So it was, I was like almost hyper focused this week, and it really has worked in our favor. The fact even that we did target today, shorted it, and had a beautiful entry and a perfect exit in that, and then it flipped. Of course, then it came came back down around with the market was just because I was so hyper focused. So I'm rating the gap on the daily chart, but I'm trading it on the one minute chart. And again, that's because we're day traders. Okay. You know, we're not, we're, we're, we're not investing in these stocks. We're, we're, we're trading based on momentum, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars more, whatever you can get out of it, but we want it quick. Making money is about correct trade selection. You can get the direction, right? Pick the right thing. You can make money. And again, whether you have the perfect, perfect, perfect exit, that's hard to do. Sometimes I do. I think I had a perfect exit today in Target, but I, that's, not, that's not all the time. Sometimes things keep going, like I showed you with the EXP. But it's about getting the directional bias right, and it's consistently to know what direction to take the trade. Trading success means focusing on taking trades with this institutional money and being on the side of institutional money increases your odds to make profits because institutions make stock trends and the market. And you're also going to lose less than, you know, sometimes your things flip around unexpectedly because you have a tug of war going on between institutions. Yes. And you might get stopped. Sometimes 
there's a tug of war also where you have the retail traders come in, but then the institutions take hold of it anyways. So again, if you follow the system, follow the ratings, you're going to win more than you lose because as long as you're on that side, it's, it's almost like you know that it's going to go. Even if you take an option, for example, you take an option on a Monday, it's down. You're like, I rated this gap. It's really good. I really love it. And then poof, Tuesday or Wednesday, it goes because you did the homework. You knew the selling was going to come in, for example, if you were in a put. But institutions move stocks either up or down. If you want to get paid, the key is to be in the trade with the large directional moves. You must be with the power of money. Okay. Any more questions here? How are we doing? Some of you are recognized. Some of you are new. You go down to two individual user if you have a question. There's four earning seasons a year, okay? There are gaps in between earning season, all right? When earning season happens, there's more gaps. So there's more things to rate. So you might have more picks, okay? You might rate 10 things in earning season. Not earning season, you might rate three or four. So you can rate as many things as you want, but again, you only need one good trade to make money, okay? So yes, we have gaps in not earning season, but earning season is a busier time. You get more gaps. Theoretically, you can do everything that rates 20 points or more if you want. I try to focus on one thing a day for my day trades. I just think it's easier to handle. Anyways, again, you got to make good choices. You got to find quality trades. You need a good system. You need the right pick. You need the right trade and the entry. The entry is important as well. Like I said, sometimes I get out of something and say, this is good. This is good. I'm out. You know, it's going into the uh, uh, an economic data or something's going to happen or someone for the Fed's going to talk. I don't want to be trapped in it. You don't know. You, those are things you don't know and you can't predict. What's going to happen with the economic data? Is the Fed going to raise rates, lower rates? You don't know that. You don't know that. You can't be at the mercy of these external factors. You have to get what you need now, the money out of the trade that you need now. You got to get it. You got to book it. You got to be done. Okay. And again, that's how you set your goals. You're trying to risk an amount and flip it over. So the system tells you how, what, and when. How do you make money in the market? Trade a strategy and a system that's profitable. Golden gaps are a highly profitable strategy because they focus on large momentum to trade. What stocks should you trade? Stocks that gap and rate 20 points or more per the Golden Gap 26-point rating system. Trade the gap in the direction of the gap. And when do you trade them? Again, early in the morning on the open when they set up and trigger. So again, set your goals realistically to start so that you feel good about what you're doing and you're meeting them. Learn. Take it easy with yourself. Baby yourself at the beginning, especially if this is new for you, which many people that come to me, it is new for them because they don't understand what I do until they do the class. You're not going to understand what I'm doing until you do the class and you say, oh, now I get it. Then you go forward. Again, whether it's even $100 a day, some people are not even making any money at all trading. They're losing. So the idea of making $2,000 a month is actually great. It's actually a lot of money. So again, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with making $100 a day. To get to the point where I am, again, I've been doing nothing else now for 16 years. So, you know, the idea is to have goals. It doesn't have to take you forever to achieve those goals, but you have to start at the beginning. You have to start with what you have. If you only have enough money to trade options, then you just focus on the options. And then you go from there. Anyways, how do you achieve your goals? Make good choices, have a plan of action, have a good system. Take quality entries. Don't over trade. That's a problem too. I can tell if I'm having a bad day if I'm over trading. And I do that every once in a while, which is, means I'm having a rough morning. Don't be piggish about your targets if you're, you know, if you're at your goal for the day, especially around this time right now. Like I said, it's a holiday time and chunk it out. If you look at it overall as a picture per day, per week, that will help you kind of wrap your head around where you want to be with your goals. Because I think a lot of people look at it and they say, oh my God, how am I ever going to get to this? Don't, if that overwhelms you, again, break it down in a way that you can get your head around it, okay? Anyways, it's important to have conviction and confidence. We were in another trade, actually it was an option, we were in HD, 
the trade flipped. It flipped almost right after I did it. It was down, and then today it went on to work. It was a nice trade. So again, you know, this is the market. If you really, really, really believe in what you're doing, you won't get faked out. You've got to keep your risk in line. You've got to go through the rating. And that's the whole point of actually doing the ratings. Again, everyone that's in my trading room has done my Golden Gap class. They know how to do the ratings themselves. That's the important part of it. Now, if you like options, this is what the options newsletter looks like. So this is Starbucks symbol, strike, expiration date here, the type, whether it's a put or a call. You would get this if you're on the newsletter, you get it. I sent this out at 926 in the morning, May 1st. So let's look at the Starbucks. So here it was, stock closed here, gap down, open, dropped. So we did a put, we did a put and it fell. Do, do, do. And again, take it over. We did the 75 puts and you see where it went. So this was really cheap, I thought. Cost was $1.60, 50 contracts was 8,000, which is an advanced trader risk. You can risk more, you can risk less. I was trying to get it around 100%. I said, this is good enough. And was in it for a bit, sold it three. 88% return on investment. Now, if you have a smaller risk, a dollar sixty-eight contracts, you could have made eleven twenty, risking twelve eighty. That's a good trade. It's a good solid trade. And again, it was a short. It fell. We did a put. So you would buy the put and you would sell it. Okay. And again, so the process of doing options is the exact same system where you rate the gap. Go back here. You go back to the Starbucks. You could do it as a day trade or you rate it and say, I'm gonna do an option in it. And then you do it. But again, it's the same system. It's just a different way of doing the trade and you have to have your account set up differently with the broker, okay, to do that type of trade. And if you don't know anything about that, that's something you have to talk to your broker about. Any other questions here? Now, again, I get this question all the time. How do you know what it's gonna do? How do you know this? How do you know that? I'm not, you know, a genie in a bottle here. I'm seeing it after it's happened. Sometimes it feels like I'm predicting the future, though, because I can see it. And I can say Disney's going to drop even before that bar even shapes up, even before it does it or goes there or anything else. But it's because I rated it. OK, did I know that the Disney earnings would create a gap down? No, I did not. OK, but as soon as I saw it and as soon as I rated it, then I knew. And, and the fact is, if you know what somebody's going to do in a stock before it does it, you can make a lot of money. Because I saw that gap way before 930. And again, you can't enter the trade until after the open. Okay, so you have time to get in it. Plenty of time. Okay, but it's all about the rating system. It looks at the 26 points in the daily chart of a stock. The rating system is a checklist. The checklist tells you what to look for in the price of the stock to read the direction correctly okay so you this is just you know you're gonna have to learn it and get used to it but the benefit of being in the trading room is again and getting the newsletter is you know what i'm looking at and i already rated them i already rated starbucks i already rated disney i'm saying this is good this is a good one you know and especially if i'm calling in the room now we did ba strike was 165 expired in the third this was a put 424 let's look at the ba chart where did I have the BA? Here, 420. Oh, here we did this. There was a big sell off here. Forget the reason in the BA. That was, gosh, that was a month ago now. So if this was cheap, $1.75 for these. Again, sometimes these options are so cheap for $165 price points per share stock to be able to buy a put for $1.75. You could have spent $175 and made money on this. It was a great trade, too. You could have made over 200%. And again, this is really, really cheap to be able to. to trade this stock you're basically shorting it with the put at such a such a high price point really over 150 and to be able to make over 200 percent so you can load it up and again an advanced trader risk you could have made over 21,000. even with a thousand fifty risk you could have made over 2500 dollars. these are the types of trades when i call them can really make bank for some people that have small accounts like under five thousand dollars because even if you had done three contracts here, it was a great trade. You know, half the size, only risk around $500. But again, here's the daily. This is how I'm seeing it. And again, it was a put, it was a sell-off. 
In April, we shorted Microsoft. Be interesting to see what this ends up doing. The next earnings, Microsoft puts, we did 405, 429. Let me find the chart here. 429 was here, stock closed here, gap down, open, fell, sold off like a hot cake. So again, see up here where we did it, see where it is. We did the 405s and see where it went. Boom. And it went all the way down here. This was a huge, 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 huge trade. So this one was a little bit more expensive, but it's over $400 a share, 550. Again, sold at 12, profit was 9,750. So you're not holding the trade until the date of expiration. No, 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 no. Unless it's down and you want to, which I do, if something doesn't go, I'll give it a chance. You're getting out when you get the move. You get the move, get out. I don't care if you have three weeks left, if you do out a monthly one. Again, I'm only doing the weeklies, but the whole point is if it goes the first day, you could be out. So two contracts here, you could have made $1,300. It's whenever the momentum comes in. Okay, so if the, again, I, I wish everything went the second I called it, but that's just not reality. I told you we did the HD that, that, that didn't go the first day I called it. But the fact is that once you get the move, the momentum, again, if you're shorting, the move is a sell-off. If you're buying a put, again, the move is a sell-off to the downside. Once you get that momentum, that is when you're looking to exit it. Or you could get in in a follow-through if you're in an option, overnight in the gap. You could short it, you could buy a put, which is a short, and it may not go anywhere. You might be down in the trade, and then poof, you get up in the morning. Like if you had bought Microsoft 405 puts and you could get up in the morning, it's a 380. You get out into the open as soon as you're up. It's $25 for the strike. And that happens too. We had that happen a lot earlier in the year when we were doing BA. Any questions about anything else I just said? How are we doing? Hello, is anyone there? Steve is good, Michael's good. I was gonna say something else, I just forgot. Anyways, I also think people overcomplicate money management. You take the trade you set your risk okay and that's 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 the best thing you can do to help yourself with the money management now when i use my day trades and put a stop in my options i don't have a stop because my risk is a stop i think the money management crux of it with people comes from risking different amounts in different trades and that's where they get screwed up that's where they're all over the price and it gets screwed up you can't do that you can't risk 500 dollars in one trade a thousand dollars in another trade then you're going to be all upside down comparing apples to oranges when you're looking at your results. I'd say it's around 70% Adrian win ratio. Some months it could be more, some months it could be higher, but it's around 70% for both my day trades and options. So if out of every 10 trades that I take, you got to figure seven are going to work and three are going to lose. Again, if every trade I took worked, I wouldn't need to put stops in. So when I call the trade in the room, I'm calling the stop, okay? I'm calling the stop and you put the stop in. Well, I don't do that, Adrian. If you want to, that's up to you. That's up to you. Again, I'm momentum trading. Anyways, you have to have some big winners. And, and I showed you that one, but really we've had other ones too, but you have to have some big winners to cover the losers because you're going to have some losers and you still have to have more winners than losers. So again, even crappy strategies will have some winners. You got to have more winners than losers and you got to have some big winners. You got to have the, the consistency in what you're using to get it because you just can't. You can't lose a lot. It's really holding down the quality. Like I said, it's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. You got to take good, solid trades. And again, I'm looking for a one-to-one -one if I'm doing it. Anyways, the points tell you where the money is flowing. Why does this matter? So you know what direction to take the position to profit. That tells you it's going to fall, for example. Now, what do you need to make trading work? Number one, you need a strategy. For me, it's golden gaps. 
Number two, you need a method and structure to enter and exit the picks. I want to get in, I want to get out. I'm trading on the one minute chart. Number three, you should have monetary goals that are based on a risk unit and you're trying to turn it over. It doesn't mean I hold everyone like you, like I showed you some trades I got out of that weren't at 100%. But again, if it gets to the target, I'm up 85%. I'm not going to ignore it. I'm not going to let it go bust for that. And actually, in an option, I think 50% is good. But it's really about the reliability in the system, which means sticking with one thing. Like, I'm very deliberate. If you've ever watched any of my trading room videos, ever been in anything when I'm in the room or any open houses, I'm very, very, very deliberate in what I do, okay? I have to have 100% conviction or I don't want to do the trade. I'm in or I'm out. Like, I'm not willy-nilly 50-50 crapshoot. If I feel like that, then I don't want to do the trade. And again, I think that helps people when they're following me. They're like, oh my God, Melissa loves it. I already rated it. I liked it too. Go for it. That's where having a mentor really helps you. It really helps you and, and says, they, it's like the double, triple check. You get up in the morning, you rate the gap yourself. Then I send out the newsletter. You liked it. I liked it. You're like, that's it. Boom. We're doing it. Disney or whatever. So again, I'm your checkpoint. Okay. But the learning, I can't, I can't tell you enough how important it is to learn what to do in order to make money. It just, it's just critical. So if you want to learn what I know, I teach the class. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course teaches you what direction to play the stock, and it also teaches you how to play the stock on the live day and take the entries and exits. The class teaches you how to read institutional positioning in stocks. And again, we're focusing on shorts. Because the reason I want to focus on shorts is because it gives me a niche and I like the fast trades. And you know what? This market, everyone has in their head, it's going to keep going up, 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 up. Nothing goes up forever. Just like nothing goes down forever, nothing goes up forever either. Okay. So there's a lot of people with a very bullish bias on this market. Don't be surprised if it doesn't last. Anyways, the Golden Gap course teaches you how to day trade gaps. And again, you can do it with options. You can do it with day trades. Steve, you can use whatever you want. If you want a referral, you can email me and I can send you. It depends, again, if you want to do options, day trades, whatever you want to do. you got to have live charts. You have to be able to place the orders. I'm not teaching you how to use the platform. I'm teaching you how to make the pick. I'm teaching you how to enter the trade, exit the trade, what to look for, how to find that Disney's a good gap. And then rate it. That's what I'm teaching you. And the broker should teach you how to do the orders. They will because they want your business and they want your money. So again, it's based on order volume at these brokers. The more clients they have, the more money they make. But the money comes easy once you know what to do. You know, I wish I could say every day was easy for me. That's not the case. But a lot of days are now and certainly more so now than even 10 years ago because the longer i've been doing this the easier it gets for me you know it's it's again like they say if you golf the more you golf the better golfer you are if you're really good it's the same way with any sport or anything you do it's just the longer you do it the better you get at it and i think a lot of people don't stick with what they're doing i've had the business so long now for over 10 years that actually i've had people do the class leave and come back for whatever reason, they did it and they didn't stick with it. And then they realize I had something good and they come back and then they stay with me. So it's you got to go through your own process. You really, really have to go through your own process. It takes the commitment and I'm here to help people do that. And I want to do that. And I don't know what it is about 2024. I've had a lot of old timers come back around to me this year. People that did the class years ago. And then they've come back around to me. So, you know, again, I say to people, stick with it. Stick with it. If you don't understand something, ask me. I will help you. I will answer the question for you, you know. Now, how much you make is a function of how much you risk. And again, you got to be consistent. Got to be consistent with the risk. So get a plan of action in place. Trade only gaps. Trade only golden gaps at rate for the 26-point system. Get your goals. How much money do you want to make a day? And then create the plan for yourself. You're going to get there. And I think summer's a good time. Say, so, okay, between now and Labor Day, so Memorial Day Monday, a couple of days, so between now and Labor Day, I want to do this. Again, if you had any type of goal for yourself, you do that anyways with anything, whatever that goal happens to be. If it's a project or cleaning out the garage or 
doing the yard or something or losing weight or exercise program. I say, I'm going to do this by such and such a date. It's good to give ourselves dates and goals like that. It helps us stick with the plan. Otherwise, we get too distracted. Everybody's distracted. Everybody's things going on in their personal life. Dogs, cats, pets, kids, whatever. If you don't focus on your own personal goals, whatever those goals are, specifically with trading or money or finances, it's never going to happen for you. Again, no one's knocking on your door to drop all this money in your lap. Okay? That's not reality. It's just... You have to be focused and you have to be committed. And it takes time to, to do that, which is time in the class, which is money to sign up and pay and then show up for the morning in the room every day. Anyway, so 26 point checklist measures gas by rating them on a daily chart to find stocks to trade that have number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, a big move on the day, early confirmation of the bias of the move in between 930 and 10 and precise entries with follow through and a good risk reward target potential, which I'm looking for. So if you're interested in learning my system, it is called the Golden Gap. It's a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade, when and in what direction. The 26 point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock chart. That's how you're gonna do it. That's how you're gonna make money. Having a broad overall view of saying, well, this fundamental thing did this, and they said this on the earnings, that's not going to help you make money, okay? Because many of these things are already built into the price of the stock even before it gapped in the first place, okay? And you wouldn't have time to read all of that. I wouldn't have time. I don't. I don't care. And sometimes it's the opposite. If you learn how to read institutional money and price patterns and gaps, and you don't need to do anything else. You, you seriously, seriously don't. Somebody asked earlier, I was doing a talk and someone said something about the market. It doesn't matter to me. Let the market run up and continue to make new highs. I don't care. If I rate Disney and that rate's good per my Golden Gap system, I'm shorting the crap out of that sucker. So the reality is, again, the beauty of trading when I'm doing it is I'm looking for specific stocks. I don't care what the market's doing. If it's good and it's going to go, it's going to go no matter what. And then what if the market does fall? Well, then I might hold things longer than I've been. But either way, we've had some piggy targets and some things that have gone. I showed some of you those today. But it's the point of the execution of knowing the pick, of taking the trade, of getting the entry right, and then, of course, getting out. But, you know, I told you I like to get out fast, and I really, I really do. Anyways, if your reason for doing this is to make money, you will make money. That's what everybody wants to do. So the system I find to rate the gap, again, is a checklist. This is what you come and rate, learn from me in the class. So empower yourself today. If you're interested in learning what I do, it's a complete system to trade. You'll learn the entries. You'll learn the exits. You'll learn the rating system in the Golden Gap course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Class is online. You could be anywhere in the world and take it. So the CLEX class is June. June 8th and 9th, 9 to 5. Class tuition is $69.99. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. The combo is $79.99, which includes a trends course. You save $500. That is the 11th. That's a half-day class. So you get three classes then for June. And I am doing a Memorial Day package. It is Fleet Week here in New York City, which is a fun week here. Of course, it's a holiday weekend. Markets close Memorial Day. And I am doing a special for this. If you sign up for the combo, which is $79.99, you get the Golden Gap course, the Trends course, and you get the Trading Room free for one year, the Options Newsletter free for one year, the Mark Report subscription free for one year, and the Gap Options course. This is a Memorial Day package. You would get four classes in this week of June. You're going to learn it all. This is going on through May 27th. If you want to sign up, you must email me for sign-up forms. You cannot sign up through the website. I will be around. I'm staying in New York. I'm having a beautiful staycation. We're having fabulous weather in New York City. I'm going to enjoy my life here in New York, even though it's a holiday. Any questions from anyone about anything? How are we doing? Beautiful. Some of you will recognize, some of you I don't. Here's my email. If you want to ask me questions about the special or the class, but if you want to do the class in June, don't miss this special. This gets you a lot. This is a nice package, a lot of freebies in this, again, and four classes. I do occasionally, uh, yeah, buy 
Huts that are at the money, Adrian, yes. Steve, I hope you're ready soon. Hope it works out for you to join soon. It's just, you gotta wanna do it. You know, you gotta wanna do it. You gotta, you gotta wanna do it. I mean, once you do it, then you're just, you're full on and you're into it and you're doing it. It's kind of like you just, looks like you jump into a pool. It's summer again. It's like, you're like, okay, I don't know what to get myself into, but I'm jumping in this pool and I'm going for it and I'm gonna have a good time and I'm gonna do it. And I try to make trading, you know, fun and learning fun. And I try to do that for people. And again, it's always eye opening for me. I've been teaching people for a long time, like I said, Everybody comes from a different background. I can't read your mind, you know, <clears throat> but I'm here to ask, you know, answer your questions, but you have to ask them to me. But again, I try to make it fun, even trading in the room. And let me tell you something, it's definitely fun making thousands of dollars in several minutes. And if you've never done that day trading, it's fun when you make it. And if you've never been in an overnight options trade and they've been up a lot of money when you wake up in the morning without even doing anything but being in the trade in the right direction, that's fun too. Phillips here, he's had that happen with me, trading options, where we've been in trades and you get up in the morning, you're like, holy crap, look at all the money I'm up. And that is one of the benefits of doing options, where you're, you're, you don't, like we were in Boeing at the beginning of the year before Boeing had all those problems. Boeing had a tremendous amount of problems and I didn't know that. I didn't know that and we were, we were in it. And then there was, I don't even know what the first tragic thing that happened earlier this year and everyone that was in those trades was up a ton of money. And it just, it can make your week, it can make your month. And it's very exciting. Yeah, Philip said it's a very nice feeling. And he said, darn it, I knew I was right. And again, that's, you know, that's, that's, those are the things where you say, yeah, I'm on the right track here. This works, I know what I'm doing, you know. Listen, have a great night, everyone. I'm off. I'm going to a little party, cocktail party for Memorial Day. I will see everybody when I see you. If you're interested about this package, email me. It's a great offer. I'm here. Have a great night.